So I thought we'd go over a, a regular siding project. So we came out here today to a customer's home where our team is working. And I just wanted to point out the different components that are in a, in a siding job. You can see here, they're kind of working their way around the corner. They've already pretty much completed this wall. But if we take a look at this wall here, when we do your siding project and we remove the old siding, um, we install what's called house wrap. And there's another product that sometimes we use called fan fold. So the purpose of house wrap and fan fold is to create a weather barrier behind the siding to improve the efficiency of your home. We wrap it around tight, we fasten it with staples. Down here at the bottom of the wall, we have a little piece of flashing that protects the home. Um, if any driving rain was to come and fall on the side of the house, the water would run down and shed rather than intruding on the home and causing some water damage. Um, you can see this product co here called J-Channel. And one of the details we like to do a little differently than some installers, is you can see the guys have mitered the corner here, which means it's been cut at a 45 degree angle. And then inside the J-Channel, um, there's a little tab that we've made that's bent down so any water that comes in this top piece would be diverted and flow out rather than causing a water intrusion. We've also got an inside corner here. It's an inside corner trim. There's an outside corner trim. A couple of items that we get asked about a lot when we're referencing siding projects that people don't know the names of is soffit and fascia. This board here that's vertical on the overhang of your house is called fascia. This is called a fascia board and the underside is called soffit. <clears throat> and so what we're doing here is we've installed aluminum soffit, and then this board, the fascia board, will be covered in, in a white piece of metal called fascia. And so if you're looking at the overhang on your house um, and you have questions or you wanna change the color, this is the part that we're talking about. Okay, so a couple of other components that you'll see um, in your siding project. These are called J-blocks. So a J-block is what you'll see around your lights or under your lights, rather. The J-block is a special trim piece that waterproofs the area around your, your light fixture and gives us a place to mount that fixture to. And then this is called a split block. It's very similar. <clears throat> it actually opens up in the middle and we use these around electrical outlets or maybe a gas line coming out of the house. And so these just trim out that area and make it look a little cleaner and neater. So this is a tool called a brake. <clears throat> these are very important in the, in the siding process. If you look around a window, and on this job site we don't have any windows that are wrapped, but if you look at a window that's been replaced, uh, you'll see sometimes the wood frame has been covered in aluminum, or you saw the flashing that we installed at the bottom of the wall of, that, of the house there. All those pieces of metal are created with this tool called a brake and we buy the aluminum in a roll, we call it a trim coil, and we cut the pieces to, to length, and we bend them in here to make them take the shape of whatever it is that we're covering and trying to protect. So this item here is installed at the bottom of the wall. This is called starter strip. It's a very good place to start. Um, so the first piece of siding hooks onto this starter, and that's what makes the, the siding all securely attached to the wall of the home. It's hooked here and then each interlocking piece is attached from there and fastened as we go up the wall. Okay, so we've got a new piece of siding here um, and you can see kind of what it looks like. So as, the, as we install the siding on the wall, <clears throat> each piece interlocks into the next and you can see these little, these little holes along the top. <clears throat> this is where the nails go uh, to nail the siding into the side of the home and that's what makes it secure and not come off in a windstorm. So I hope that was helpful information in understanding what goes into a siding project. If you're considering new siding for your home, we'd love to help you here at Property Revolution. Or if you just have a question or there's something you'd like to understand about the exterior of your home, feel free to give us a call or shoot us an email and we'd be happy to answer those questions for you.